Welcome back everybody, it's Jackie and I'm here today um, to do another Inspired By from my Friendship Challenge. Um, this time it's Donna's entry and Donna set me a bit of a headache <laughs> in a way because Donna sent this lovely um, pocket tag um, but she followed a tutorial that I'd done which is brilliant but obviously I didn't want to re redo that um, and I've done various pocket tags things like that so I kind of wanted to stay away from that so I had a look at her note card that she sent and decided that my inspiration this time would be the doily and the roses um, pink as well I guess but doilies and roses so this is what I came up with um, and it's a little happy mail set so we've got a pouch a little booklet and a tag and I'm going to show you today how I put together the um, booklet and then I'll talk you through sorry the, the um, pocket not the booklet the pocket and then I'll talk you through the tag and the booklet um, I've used um, some old French book page that I happen to have and I've used a beautiful paper from My Porch Prints which is uh, from a set called Granny's Attic. So let's start with this one. Um, I haven't put anything in this yet and it won't hold a whole lot but it will, you know, you could put some bits of ephemera, some book pages, that type of thing in there. So if we start off, um, I was fortunate enough to have, or I am fortunate enough to have this um, old French book and this was my starting point because it was about the right size. Um, I'm just going to cut it down so that the margins are more or less equal, it doesn't have to be exact. I want to leave this rough edge um, here, so I'm just going to do that. And that left me with two sheets of paper, um, four and three quarters by nine inches. So four and three quarters by nine inches. And all I did, um, as I say, this is really simple. Uh, I'll try and match it to this one. So I turned the top down about two inches. So that's about here. And that, that is the size of my pocket. Um, what I did then, I took the inside one and I folded that back that way because I want that to be um, a little bit stronger. So if we're putting things in, it's a little bit stronger. Um, and I don't really want a double flap. So also you'd have to open it. So, you know, it creates all sorts of problems. So just turn that back that way and you've got it like so. Um, the next thing I did was um, decorate the front and put the fastings on. So before I did the huge majority of this, um, I did the huge majority of this before I stitched it. Sorry, I can't get my words out today. I think we've been very affected by the heat here in the UK. We're not used to it. Um, it's a little bit cooler at the moment, but I think it's going to get hot again. I wanted something pretty at the top here, so I've cut off a little bit of paper. Um, from the kit, it's a little bit long, so let's shorten that. I haven't put my tools ready, so I'm reaching across a lot today as well. And I've got this um, old Fiskars die, um, so I'm just going to punch the edge of this. not a die, it's a punch. Oh dear. I'm going to persevere. 
thinking about starting this video again, but I'll persevere, see how we get on. That hasn't cut very well, so let's just take that round. to ink the edge of this. Just to give it a bit of definition. And I'm just going to run, I'm going to stitch across the top, but for the time being I'm just going to run a bead of glue across there. So that's that bit. Next thing we're going to do is um, sort out the doily. So again, I just want the front piece and my doily is going to sit on the corner. Um, you could fiddle about this with this for ages, but I'm just gonna go for it. Um, again, I'm using this art glitter glue. That's gonna put on here and I'm just gonna go just dot round the edge here. And that's going to sit something like that. And just because it's a doily and because it ends up neater, I'm going to fold this edge in. I'm going to glue it down because if I put things into this I don't want it to catch. You can just cut it off if you prefer but um, I just think the doilies often look neater if they're folded. It's such thin paper. So that's that. And then I used, um, I've got a scallop die. This is a Spellbinders scallop die. I think this one is three inches approximately. So this is a three inch scallop die. You could use a circle, you could tear it. Um, so I just cut out a piece of the Granny's Attic paper, that way up. And this is going to sit on this piece here. So again, I'm gonna ink the edge. want it to be to the corner so you sort of just fiddle with that till it looks right. Uh, so I'm going to go from there. And again this um, glue doesn't give you any wiggle time, so just take your time placing it. There we go. And this time I am going to cut it off. Inking all the edges, but I did just do around there. Okay. So the next thing. Oh, I added some words. I've got some French script, and I thought that looked um, quite pretty at the bottom there. This is a printable. Um, Oh dear, I can't remember who I got this off. I know um, Amity Bloom does one that you can tear up. Um, this wasn't from Amity Bloom. But I can't just think where it was from. If I can find it, I'll pop it in the description underneath. Um, but if you go into Etsy and just type French printable, 
download or something like that, you'll probably find something similar. So the next thing I want to do is my um, fastenings. So I have got a one inch punch and I need two pretty bits. So these are going to go here and here so that we can close our envelope. I'm just eyeballing that really. Um, so I'm just marking approximately where they're going. And what I'm going to do, or what I've already done, is I've cut some more circles from some lightweight card and I'm just going to glue the card to the back of those pattern circles. So nice this morning that it's a bit cooler. I know lots of you are struggling in the heat or are used to the heat. I don't know if you ever get used to it. Um, but here in the UK, we just are not geared up for it at all. Can't sleep so that might be why I'm not getting my words out. <laughs> okay and again I want to ink the edges of these. And then I've cut two half inch circles from the French paper. And I'm just popping those as close as I can to the middle. Try and get them the right way up. Let's go that way. Okay. So these need fastening on here, and the way I'm going to do that is um, with a brad. So I've got two little mini brads things out the way. So I need to go through the centre. I need to make a hole in the centre. Probably not ideal to do it on my mat, but never mind. A bit of foam is good for this. Um, got this envelope. There's our holes, and then again we punch a hole here and here. And then I'm going to take my brads. So this is a bit fiddly. Push that well down so it's nice and flat. Same for this one. together so you can see we're almost there. Um, I just want to um, cover up the insides of the brads. The other thing I often do with brads um, to make sure they're really flat I just get my little ruler and just flatten them down like this. 
So I'm going to just put a circle over just to cover these um, legs up. So let's find some glue. To make sure the glue's right to the edges because again, we don't want to catch anything. If we're putting things into the pocket, we don't need to catch anything. We'll do the same here. On the other one, I covered the inside of I covered the inside of the um, or put a strip of card or paper on the inside of it. Um, I haven't got any of this paper left, and I don't want to use a different one. So, um, but you could use some of this paper and cover the inside of that, which would look quite pretty. So, when I'm stitching, um, let's just glue this flat down. This is the bit I turned down. This is quite fragile paper, so this isn't meant to be um, a long-lived project. It's, it's, you know, it's just a bit of happy mail. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zigzag across here so that I've got something at the top. And then I'm going to, with a little bit of dab of glue, I'm just going to tack my sides. Um, I'm going to sew straight stitch around the top of this flap here put my pieces together open the flap and then I'm going to stitch round three sides here so I'm going to go off and do that and then I'll come back and we'll finish it off okay so I'm back um, for well it won't look like part two but um, hopefully it's a seamless transition um, and I've stitched round here. I did find a bit of paper. It wasn't quite wide enough but I've made it work um, so I have covered the whole of the inside of that flap um, and then I glued that down and then I stitched round the three sides. Um, I'm not stitching across the top as I said this paper is pretty fragile um, I think this is it's already cracking a little bit. It's going to crack um, so I don't think it'll last forever. <laughs> Probably not for very long and then I've taken this piece and I've sewn round the three sides. So we've got our pouch. Um, to finish this off, I'm going to use a little bit of, um, I'm going to use a bit of linen thread. No, I'm not, I'm sorry, changing my mind. I'm going to use wax thread this time, just because we'll get a better knot. Um, but any fine thread would do. And the way I do this, so I've just cut a random length, probably about 14 inches. I slide that under there. I want the knot to be at the bottom. So if I tie the knot once. Twice. Because it's waxed thread it will that will stay so I'm just snipping off this under there and there we've got our thread so we can just wind it you can go figure of eight you can do what you like with this and I'm going to pop a couple of beads on the bottom so we've got two small glass beads here a little one first also easier to thread um, onto waxed linen thread especially on camera um, so I want this to dangle so I want um, I want a knot around around here to stop these to stop these beads falling off so I just do a few little overhand knots in the same place there's a technique you can do to, to make this work easier, but I find, I find if I'm careful, I can do it this way. So that's three, cut the end off, and there you've got it. A pretty pouch. Now, the other, the other items, um, I'm not gonna demonstrate, 
but I, hopefully I can give you enough information so you can repeat them. Um, so the tag is a piece of the French book paper and it's cut three inches by six and a quarter. I've backed it onto a piece of card. Um, I've put my doily on the top, glued it down. Um, I've cut a square from the patterned paper from my porch prints and that's two and a half inches by three and a quarter inches. Um, if I tell you the order I've done it in, so cut your pieces. Um, so you want your book page, your card, your square and your doily. Um, I glued this to the doily and then I glued the doily to the book page and then I stitched round this piece in a zigzag and then I glued the book page to the card, stitched round it again, put an eyelet in the top and I've just tied a bow with some crinkled um, seam binding and I put that little um, French script on there. So that's really all there is to that one. A little booklet, um, maybe slightly more to this one. Um, so I've cut a piece of the paper, three and three quarters by five and a half. This is an image from that paper collection. Um, I've cut that out and I've zigzagged that down um, to the paper. I've cut a piece of lightweight card the same size glued the paper onto the card and stitched around it. So I've got this top piece. I've cut a piece of packaging, the same size. Um, I've done nothing to that, that's just how it came off. And I've cut, um, I think it's eight, one, two, three, eight pieces of tea dyed paper, just a fraction smaller. So they are three and three eighths by five and three eighths. Is that right? Let's get it right for you. Oh yeah, just under five and a half by three and five eighths. Three and five eighths. Um, so I've piled all of those on top of each other and I've folded a doily, one of the small doilies. I think my doilies are about four and a half inches. Yeah, four and a half inches in diameter. I've just folded it over the top and I've held it all together with um, clips. Just these clips here. And then I've taken my um, pencil and I've marked two little spots where I want the holes to be. And I've gone through everything with the small hole punch on my crocodile and just tied it all together with some more of that crinkled seam binding. So uh, I did glue the doily, just tacked the doily down just so that that didn't move while I was um, tying it all together. And that's all there is to that. So I hope that's enough information. I think it makes a really nice little set and we can put a few bits of ephemera in here for whoever we're sending it to. So that's my Inspired by Donna. Um, and I'll be back soon with some journals and um, hopefully some more little tutorials. Thank you.